Yeah, you know, I think that Darren Williams trade you know, came out of nowhere. Um, you know, Atlanta did some things, and Boston did some things too. That surprised me. So, um, you know, everybody's making some moves. Uh, and you got the ball really coming up, so I think everybody's going to sit back and see what happens. But you some surprises. Do you think that owners believe the players have too much autonomy in deciding where they want to play now? Well, I think, uh, I don't know. I said, you know, I think when you take, for example, the heat thing, I thought it brought a lot of attention in the summertime, which the NBA gets no, no uh, recognition. I thought it was kind of interesting that the NBA was the hot topic, you know, with baseball and golf or whatever else is being played, you know, starting sports center or the NBA. And so maybe the league likes that in a sense. Uh, but, you know, with the new bargain agreement or whatever happens, um, you probably might see more of that you know, uh, happening. You've been in a similar situation with some of these guys where, for whatever reason, you didn't want to be where you were. I got lucky. <laughs> um, I got lucky going to Phoenix. I learned how to win. Um, when I went to Jersey, I had very lucky with the sense of uh, the young team um, that wanted to learn how to win and played hard. And, um, and then back here in Dallas, I've been surrounded with talented players. So my journey has been you know, pretty lucky in that sense. But you, you, you always felt as a player you were going to be in one city for you know, your whole career. But the small print on those contracts that you can't be moved, uh, no matter who you are. Do you understand or empathize with whether it's a guy like Darren who sees players get traded and sign with other teams or, or other players that just want out? Well, I mean... This is a business, and so with that being said, I mean, as much, um, you know, it's about winning. There, you know, I think um, a friend of mine said it best that in this league, you always, if you stay pat, you become bad. And so when you, once you settle, um, just like I played myself for a jump shot instead of taking it to the basket, once you settle uh, on the business end, you're dead in the water, you got to continue to keep moving forward to improve the team or make moves so that you can, you know, make a run at a free agent. Jason, speaking of runs, what do you think the, your team is capable of this year? Well, we feel, you know, healthy and the ball is bouncing our way. We feel we can hopefully be the last team standing, you know, when it's all said and done. I mean, we have the veteran guys who've been in, in some battles uh, in some, you know, great series. And, you know, for us, we're under the radar. We're not even mentioned as one of the top teams in the league, um, even though we're, you know, number two. Um, but, you know, the big thing is we have to, you know, take care of our business and make sure that we're playing defense once uh, the playoffs start. Jason, is it fair for people to ask if this team is physical enough to make a run? That's always been a question about the Mavs. Is that fair to ask? Uh, that's a fair. Every question is fair. I mean, <laughs> you look at... Uh, you know, teams that are, are physical, you look at um, you know, the Lakers, you look at San Antonio, Oklahoma City, now got with Perkins, they're going to be physical. So we have to be physical, but we have to be ourselves. And uh, we have to understand what it takes to win, and you know, we have to play defense, uh, you know, in the playoffs. But we got to start doing that now. We just can't turn it on. Do you worry at all about what goes on in the East with some of the moves made over there? Is it just all about the West for you? Do you pay it's, attention to that? No, it's just the West. we got to concentrate on um, the 24 games games we have left and then also on top of that we just got to worry about the Western Conference and what what we have to do to get out of the Western Conference and at that time it's just two teams 